Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited to film today's video. So as you can tell by the title, today I am doing a wet and wild one brand tutorial, completely testing out wet and wild products. So over the past few months, I've been placing orders on Amazon um, just for different wet and wild makeup because the only wet and wild makeup that I had was the Color Icon Bronzer. I didn't have any other items from Wet n Wild, but I went out and bought foundations, eyeshadows, primers, lipsticks, the contouring palette. I just picked up a bunch of things um, to try, just to test out Wet n Wild makeup because so many YouTubers that I watch genuinely love Wet n Wild, like Kathleen Lights, Manny MUA, a bunch of YouTubers love Wet n Wild as a brand. And you know what? It is so affordable. Now, unfortunately, they don't sell it out here in the UK, but you can purchase it on Amazon, which is what I did. But unfortunately, I had to pay like postage for every single item that I bought. Well, almost every single item. But when I went on holiday to Spain, you could buy Wet n Wild out in Spain. So you can buy it out in Europe and places like that. And obviously you can buy it out in America. Um, but the easiest place for us to buy it in the UK is obviously Amazon. And I actually really love the bronzer by Wet n Wild, so I have high hopes for these other products because people are saying that they are a really good brand and, you know, super affordable. I love drugstore products and I love testing out new makeup. So yeah, it's going to be a one brand tutorial. Every single thing that I'm using today is by Wet n Wild and it's going to be a first impression as well because I am trying out a bunch of new makeup as well so yeah let's just get started okay so I'm gonna start out with a primer now I picked up the obviously wet and wild coverall primer and it's supposed to help refine pores fill fine lines brighten complexion and even skin tone so that's what it's claiming to do so it's the coverall primer Ooh. Okay, so next up I picked up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Soft Ivory. I have no idea if this is the right shade. And it says, uh, Goodbye Photo Flashback. This foundation helps to eliminate white particle reflection. Yeah, so basically this is perfect for flash photography. Oh gosh, I have no idea. Is that going to be the right colour? I hate this. I hate trying out new foundations. Okay, I'm just gonna like put this on my face because there's like a spatula. And I'm gonna use my booty blender. I like this foundation. Oh, I like the finish. Oh my goodness me. I actually really like this foundation. That is some decent coverage. I would say this is like medium to full coverage. And this was like eight pounds ish. That is ridiculous. That is so good. And the color match I think is really good. It's not perfect, but I think it's really good. I like the finish. It's not even that sticky. I'd still set it, but it's not even like ridiculously sticky. Love this. Ooh. Okay, next up, concealer. Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. So, same as the other one, another photo one. This is the lightest shade I they did, I think. But this, you know, this looks darker than the foundation, which is never a good sign. So this is Light Ivory, but yeah, I have a feeling this is going to be dark. Okay, and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend that in. Okay, you know what? It's not the worst concealer in the world, but I don't think it's my favourite. You know, I think I prefer my NYX one and my Collection one to it. Okay, now I'm going to set that down and I'm going to set my whole face, I think. And I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the shade Dolce de Leche. Dolce de Leche? I'm gonna have issues saying that in every single video, aren't I? <laughs> I'm gonna use my e.l.f. small tapered brush and I'm just gonna set my under eyes. And then I am gonna slightly set the rest of my face using my U Spicy 31 brush. Mm. 
I'm gonna use this little trio, and this is the Walking on Eggshells trio. I'm not gonna do a heavy eye look today because this is the only eyeshadow that I bought. So I'm just gonna use this today. And I'm gonna use my Morphe R37 brush. And I'm just gonna take the color that says crease on it. And I am going to pop that through my crease. I'm actually gonna take the contour side of the contouring palette. And I'm going to use that to uh, deepen up my outer corners. And I'm going to use my Morphe M412 brush. Okay, now back into the Walking on Eggshells trio. I'm going to take the pinky shade and I'm going to pop that all over the lid. So I'm taking my e.l.f. Uh, eyeshadow brush. Don't know the name of this brush. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. Okay, now I'm going to take this crease uh, shade and the darker shade and I'm just going to pop those on my lower lash line and I'm going to use my Morphe E18 brush. And then I'm going to use this brow bone highlight just on the back of the e.l.f. brush I used earlier and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and my inner corners. You know what, I think that this is a pretty good palette actually. Like if you don't have this, I would recommend it. I really like it actually. Right now I don't have an eyeliner, so I'm not gonna apply one. <laughs> so I just have a mascara and I picked up the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Mascara and it looks like this. I haven't even opened it. I don't even know what the wand is like. Let's have a look. Mm, you know, I'm very fussy with mascaras. If I don't end up liking this, I will give it to my mother, obviously, I always do, but um, we'll see, we'll see. I'm just going to curl my lashes first. Okay guys, not even kidding, I did not like the mascara at all. I don't like the mascara, that'll definitely be going to my mother. Did nothing for me, didn't hold a curl, didn't give me volume, didn't give me length, did nothing. So, you know, that happens. I'm very fussy with my mascara. But anyway, I am going to now contour my face using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dolce de Leche. And I'm gonna use my U Spicy 27 brush. Okay, you guys, you know, I think that was very warm for my skin. I wouldn't use this to contour, like, I would use that to bronze. But I am gonna go in with my Color Icon Bronze and the shade Ticket to Brazil and my Real Techniques Blush Brush, just slightly over the top. Now, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Pearlescent Pink. So this is what it looks like, super duper gorgeous and pretty and pinky and peachy. Oh, I can't wait to apply this to my cheeks and it is slightly shimmery too. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. I like this, ooh. And next up I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. It's called a bronzer but it's not a bronzer, it's a highlight. And I'm going to use my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush. A very subtle natural glow. Ooh, I like this. This is my type of highlight, definitely. Okay, and finally I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Lipstick and this is in the shade Bear It All. You know what, I actually really like this lip colour. It's really natural and subtle, but it is slightly darker than my natural lip colour. And it's just something, like I would wear this every day. It's a very natural colour, it's a very wearable colour. So yeah, I really like this and it feels really comfortable as well. Okay, so this is the final look that I've created in my One Brand Wet n Wild tutorial. So the verdict, I actually really love these products. There's only like one or two that I wasn't too keen on and that was the, what were they? 
that was the mascara I didn't like the mascara and the concealer wasn't great because it was too dark for my skin tone but everything else I absolutely loved and I'll definitely be using them again in the future I'm really really excited to try more wet and wild products because I genuinely love this brand from a first impression and I can understand why so many people love this brand because like the prices are just ridiculously affordable and it's really good quality as well. Hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see all my other videos on here. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!